Hello, Wayne artists. Welcome to another week of drawing. We are going to be combining some lines, patterns, shapes, and colors this week in another fall themed lesson. So I'm going to go step by step with you again. We'll keep it nice and easy, um, easy for you to follow along. And I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Remember, I need you to take a photograph of your artwork when you're done and upload it into the assignment. Please don't put it in the stream. If you put it in the stream, sometimes it gets pushed down and I don't see it. So if you put it with your assignment, that way I can look at it. I can use the rubric that we've been talking about. Um, kindergarten, we're not using that, but everybody else we are. And um, that way I can return it to you. And if I return it to you, it means I have seen it. I have given you my little um, number on the rubric and I it, it goes back to you so it can go into your um, assignments that are finished. So stay tuned. I will do a step-by-step -step drawing with you to combine some of our elements of art in a new fall theme for the week. All right, boys and girls, I have my sketchbook or my piece of paper held sideways. I'm going to talk to you first about patterns. So patterns are when shapes or lines or objects are repeated. So for example, I'm going to just do, let's start with some shapes. I'm going to do a square triangle, square triangle, square triangle. So I have the same shape, new shape, square triangle, square triangle and it keeps going back and forth. That's a simple pattern. You can do this with lines as well. Maybe I wanna do three vertical lines, three horizontal lines, three vertical lines, three horizontal lines. Okay, that's another kind of pattern. You can um, repeat a bunch of lines to create a design. So I could do a whole bunch of maybe diagonal lines to create a design. And then you could use color to make a pattern in here if you wanted to. So I could do something like red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and that would be a pattern using colors. So you can practice some patterns first on a piece of paper, and then we're going to get a new clean sheet of paper to create our fall project for this week. So practice some patterns and then get a nice clean sheet of paper and we're gonna work together. So, on this piece, I'm going to draw a large apple, because apples tend to be a great fall activity, a good fall snack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curvy line, almost like a smile, near the top of my paper. So I'm gonna do a curvy line like that, okay? And I'm going to do an upside down curve, like a frown, a little bit smaller on the bottom below it. So here's my big smile on top and here's my small frown on the bottom, okay? And then I'm going to curve around and around to connect them. So I'll start with this, like the letter C, really big. Okay, and I'm gonna do it on this side as well. There's my apple shape. And then I'm going to do another stem here. So I'm going to do a line, line, line. And then I'll do a leaf. Curve, curve, there. So that's my apple shape. It's not perfect, but it gives us an idea of an apple. Inside the apple, I want you to come up with some kind of pattern. You can do more than one kind of pattern. You can just do one pattern across the whole apple. That's up to you. I'm going to keep mine kind of simple. I think I'm going to do some diagonals. I think I'll do my diagonals all the way across my whole apple. Then I might make it a little bit fancier by putting some shapes and I'm gonna do some circles. And I think I'll do circles in every other one. So I think I'll skip this one and then do some circles in this one. 
This is just my idea, boys and girls. You can come up with any kind of pattern for your apple. Skip this one, I'll go to this one. Skip this one, so I go into the next section. And I'm just filling in circles. If you hear that crunching noise, my dog is chewing on her bone right next to me. She wants to be a part of your apple lesson. Okay, skip. Okay, so there's my crazy apple. I think I'm gonna do something fun in my leaf over here. Maybe I wanna do a line in between and maybe I'll do some veins in my leaf. You know how veins look in a regular leaf, in a real leaf? Doing that on my apple leaf. Okay, and then I think I'll do a little bit of closer lines on my stem. All right, so there's my crazy pattern apple for this week. I'm going to fast forward while I color it so you can just kind of see me do that quickly. I cannot wait to see your pattern giant apple and I want to see what kind of colors you can add to it. Have fun! As you can see, I finished coloring my crazy pattern apple. I didn't know if anybody noticed this, but I used three special colors in the apple, blue, yellow, and red. Who remembers what we call blue, yellow, and red? That's right, primary colors. And then I used two different color greens in my leaf, orange and purple in my stem. Those are called, you got it, secondary colors. So I made a pattern, I made a pattern, I made a pattern, and I used primary colors in my apple and secondary colors in my stem and leaf. I cannot wait to see what you do.